Jay Gomez, and I play Alex on Wizards of Waverly Place. And I'm Jake T. Austin. I play Max. And I'm David Henry, and I play Justin. We're not real wizards, so we can't really do magic in real life. But we do have TV magic. Comes in handy when you're hungry. And now, we're going to show you some of our favorite things to do when we're not working. Alex definitely gets into a lot of trouble. I'm not as devious as Alex is. Stop all the racket, I'll wear a jacket. <laughs> hey. Hey. You know, she's very independent, and she knows what she wants, and she's very headstrong. So I think that we're similar in that way, and we both like to be kind of daring with our wardrobe sometimes and adding cool, you know, funky designs to our outfits. So we're kind of similar in that way. Well, I love to shop, so let me use my TV magic to change. Cool. Let's go shopping. Okay, I'm gonna show you some tips on how you can have Alex's style. Well, me and her kinda dress the same, so it's kinda my style too. Let's go. Definitely Alex would like something like this, but she definitely loves layers and cool colors to give it some pop. So this with some Converse and skinny jeans is a definite go. Okay, now this is Alex's definite more casual look. She would probably wear this to school or studying or hanging out with her family at home. So this is Alex's casual look. Another thing Alex and I have in common is she loves wearing tights because you can wear it with basically anything, you know, add a cute, fun top with some cool colors in it, and it may seem a little sophisticated, but, but if you add, like, cool accessories and some Converse, it'll definitely be Alex. Okay, now this is Alex's probably more sophisticated look, you know, maybe something she would wear on a date. Okay, outfit number three. Alex also has a kind of edgy side every now and then, so we definitely like, you know, adding something cool like this with a nice leather jacket. This would probably be Alex's edgier look, and then you can always add a cool purple hat or a fun color hat and something very Alex-like. Okay, so this is the last outfit and definitely my favorite outfit. This is probably what you'll see Alex wearing more for season two. It's her more fun punk side to her. I actually like this outfit so much that I think I'm gonna buy it. So thank you so much for shopping with me and I hope my tips helped you. My character has some aspects that are similar to me. Like my character is, he's sort of ditzy and didn't really know which way's up or which way's down. Go get those customers. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> Maxie, are you okay? Sorry, buddy. And I guess he sort of lives in his own world, which is sort of like me, because I sort of live in my own little world. So I do a couple accents in my free time. Hello, my name is Jake T. Austin, and I'm here playing pool with my main bros, and we're here uh, shooting balls and talking about my life. One thing you may not know about me is I love to skateboard. good too. The first trick I'm going to show you today is called the pop shove it. This is how you do it. Now, the trick to doing the pop shove it is to spin the board around with your back foot like that and landing on it, all right? So play this in slow motion. I'm going to show you one more time. like that. That's called the pop shove it. The next trick I'm going to show you is really the most essential part to skateboarding. It's called the ollie. The ollie is simply when you jump on a skateboard. And no, I'm not talking about jump like, like that. I'm talking about you got to bring the skateboard up with you. And that is how you do the ollie. Actually, I learned how to mainly skateboard on Johnny Cup of Hollow back on board. So I got to thank my crew on that for teaching me how to skateboard. Well, I'm glad you guys got the chance to hang with me today, and I got to show you some of my life that you guys didn't know. I got to skateboard. See you later. Justin is a, he's a, very, he's a, he's a kid that knows what he's going to do in life, and I know what I want to do in life. I'd say I take uh, more risks in life than I think Justin would. This is dangerous, Alex. We shouldn't be here. 
but Justin is a kid that knows how to have a good time no matter what the situation is, whether he's with his friends or he's with his parents, and I'm the same way. I have a good time, you know, pretty much wherever I am. I'm actually good friends with uh, with the Jonas Brothers now. I think I'm gonna go on tour with them. Like, like I met him, I met him uh, a couple weeks ago, and uh, we just started hanging out. And uh, they're like, "Yo, come out to Detroit, come to our shows." And I was like, "Heck yes, I'll come." I felt like a beetle. It was crazy. I'm gonna hang out and just, you know, pretend I'm a rock star for a week. One of my favorite things to do when I'm not working is uh, I enjoy playing the guitar. Check it out. Just playing guitar, hanging out. Uh, something that I like to do when I'm by myself at home. Uh, just play. My father taught me how to play guitar. Uh, he was a big fan of uh, like Stevie Ray Vaughan and blues music, which is... All that kind of stuff. That's what I first learned how to play. Stuff like that. It's just, um, I think it's the best music. It's just stuff you can jam out to and just really play with your soul. Another thing I like to do is box. Now, um, if you don't know anything about boxing, uh, the first thing is to establish which hand's stronger. Mine's my right. So my right hand's gonna be back. You keep your defense up. And uh, there's a couple basic punches. So here's a, uh, a jab. So you put your weight into. Hooks are just basically when you come into the body and you just, you know, to the ribs. If your guard's up like this, it's coming into here. So just punch. Well, uh, after you take down your opponent, you uh, usually say something cool like, like you just got owned or uh, or a yeah, what, or something, you know, something, uh, something cool that would not be expected. He just said he owned me after he beat me down. What I have playing in my iPod right now would have to be Paramore. It's my favorite band. My top three would be Led Zeppelin, ACDC, and Aerosmith. Everything from like Lil Wayne to uh, to Rascal Flatts to Stevie Ray Vaughan, All Out Boy, Foo Fighters, Jonas Brothers, Daft Punk, also Pink Floyd, Justice. Classic rock is the best. Some MIA too. A secret that fans probably don't know about me is that I go to public school in my hometown in New York. My hidden talent is I can spit gum all the way in the air and catch it in my mouth. I like to do mixed martial arts. And my favorite subject would be lunch. This is my gum trick. Ground game like jujitsu, like a lot of different types of martial arts. <laughs> and I can do that 42 times in a row so far. My favorite food would probably be really good Spanish food. Well, my favorite foods are pickles and Snickers. A 24 ounce bone-in ribeye. Or really good Japanese. Steaks like. Bam. I like to add salt to my pickles. Or really good Italian food. I can't really choose. Pizza. Probably sushi, though. It is good. Yeah, sushi. I am participating in the Disney Channel games. I uh, hope they'll be a team captain and get my own slew of people. I will be participating in the Disney Channel games. First time I'm going to be going on the, Dis on the DC games, so I'm so excited. I'm looking forward to competing against uh, Selena, actually. Yeah, if she's on the other team, we're gonna go at it. Whatever team I'm on, my team's gonna win. I'll probably do the dunk tank this year if I could choose any event. All the cast of Wizards will be doing it this year, so I'm super pumped for that. One of the elements that really makes up the show is that we have a little sibling rivalry. And it's funny because off camera, the whole entire cast really bonds and we all get along. Selena, Jake, and I are uh, good friends in real life. We fight, we laugh, we cry together. You know, you spend so much time with these people that they're no longer just your castmates, they're your life. Thank you so much for hanging out with us and I hope you had fun. Now, even though we're not real wizards, we still know how to work it like one. Why are you trying to disappear me? Stop! You guys are both between me. Peace out, take it easy, keep it real.